Hello, I'm Mark Morgan. Today I'm demonstrating you guys how to work with a simulator which is powered by Upson Community, another simulator. Uh, okay, uh, so let's go ahead and download it. So you can uh, visit uh, bit.ly slash Upson minus simulator. So you can go to the sim URL and download the simulator. Okay. Okay, fine. This is an open source project hosted on GitHub. So you can uh, so see what's happening there. Actually, source code is available. It's free, open source. So you can download the simulator. So we have already downloaded the simulator. So see. So you get something like this once you download. So before that, uh, we will start in the simulator. We are working and we are testing with the application, uh, which is. Application is currently live on so as for testing purpose. So, so for you guys, you can use your application with the simulator. This is the whole purpose. And so, if you're if you're not familiar with the development of application, you can refer the tutorials and documentation available on Epson LK website. Or use the community portal, the, the forum, or you can. Uh, Watch uh, videos uh, done by Jason. And uh, okay, let's start application simulator. Okay. For Linux users, you can use start.sh, and for Windows users, you can use start.bat for start the simulator. And uh, the README covers uh, almost everything you need to worry about the simulator. So, okay, running terminal. Okay, you need to have Java installed on your machine to work with the simulator. By default, uh, simulator starts on uh, port uh, 8008. And okay, let's go there. Okay, last 008. Fine. Okay, simulator is okay. Uh, look at the simulator like this. Well, this is just admin. Term, so, the actual simulator is this slash simulator. So this is the URL you need to configure with your application to send messages. So the, the Epson application is something like this. You can send messages and you can receive messages. For sending messages, you need to have a server and credentials on the server. So this is the server. And for the credentials, you can configure simulator for that one. So when you are the an Epson application is listening to messages. I mean your application so for that uh, you need to have a URL for the listener so, so we need to configure that listener to the simulator for what there's another aspect uh, you can send messages and receive so this is looking as uh, simulator as a web so yes uh, app zone server and the mobile client the both items both party will be simulated here okay our listener is working and running on here so we can configure the material to okay, configure the simulator you can click the button to configure simulator so first the, the, the this is the receiver url this is where you are application is receiving messages so you can give up so app and use it this is you need you are using your, your application need to use for sending uh, messages you need to use this password let me show this pass okay let's create and configure let's configure so the simulator is now configured so now use application can send messages uh, and do everything you need to know. so but uh, the cool part of the app simulator is this is work as a client you can Perform the client task, which is the mobile phone task, to the simulator set. Okay, you can click on the phone button. Uh, you can create a mobile phone using this number. You uh, name mobile number you want, and you, you get them. You are like this. This is uh, a sample and demonstration of the mobile phone. You can send it. You have in inbox. You can send a message like this. And call this uh, to send the messages, you get some response from the application as displayed. Then you can send another one. Okay. 
the, you need to worry about the content of this uh, message because it is application dependent so you can create phones as many as you want okay So this is it. You can send messages. You can get the response. Back. The cool part is this: really you can see all the logs of messages received to the simulator. So we can you can debug easily. So say the date and the message and the address. If you're using a, if your application use a, many addresses, use multiple addresses. For the sending purpose, you can also display that was also displayed here. So this is the simulator, and this is the simulator you must use. This is very user friendly and this provide more features. So I assume you can you, are, you will download the simulator and use it. And uh, if you have any queries, so you can clarify the thing. So you can tweet me at I don't know on Twitter. Okay, thanks.